Morning guys, it's Tuesday morning, <clears throat> the uh, 12th of November. Excuse me, I'm getting over a uh, ear infection here, so kind of congested and all mucked up, but uh, figured I'd uh, bring you guys out and uh, show you what's going on here. We got some of that kind. Come on, white balance. Camera doesn't want to focus, but uh, yeah, we were uh, forecasted uh, two to four inches of snow last night, which I knew was never going to happen. It's too damn warm, the ground's too wet and still warm for it to stick. But uh figured I'd take you for a quick walk outside. It's kind of shitty out here. But uh, I wanted to show some people. Um, I'd had questions before uh, when we did Project Duramax and doing all the body work on that if I was going to undercoat it. Well, I don't use undercoating. What I use is a mixture of diesel waste oil and... Uh, a little bit of uh, like a black type of asphalt undercoating that comes in gallon jugs. I mix it together just to make it blacker and stickier. Um, but the oil stays in that and it coats the frame of the truck. I did the Super Duty here uh, about a week and a half ago. There it goes. We got some focus. But if you take your fingernail and you scratch on that, it's gummy and oily, uh, and it's like a, just a thick film on there. Um, it looks dry now, but when it gets warmer, uh, it looks like it's soaking wet. So that's how I do them. And uh, I had had questions on that and getting a lot of shit about, well, you should undercoat and you should this and you should that. But bottom line is, that's the way I do them. And if you like it, cool. If you don't like it, that's the way it is. Um, I've been doing them that way for 20 years and never had a problem, uh, you know, with. Uh, horrendous rust like frames rusting through and uh, things like that and we lost the rockers and the cab corners and the Duramax because of a shit design uh, this truck is an O2 and it spent its life in the salt and it's not having that problem it's got one cab corner that popped on it and that's it um, and that could have been I believe this uh, this cab corner is in perfect shape right here and I could get down underneath it but I'm not getting on the ground to show you the other one's the one that's blown out but uh, this truck was hit, I believe, long before I got it on the uh, passenger side here because we've got a little bit of a misalignment issue with the fender to the door here. It's not awful, but it's noticeable. Like this body line's foobarred here. It dips way behind the corner of the door. Um, and this door, when it shuts, is not perfect. It's real close, but it's not perfect. So I think something has been done on this side of the truck um, but that cab corner is completely toast and so is this uh, corner on the side of the bed but uh these blow out in here because of all the the foam that's behind here all that uh keeping it from squeaking and all that nonsense but anyway i figured i'd show you that i mean we probably got we got two inches of snow is what we got um, on anything it could stick to but it couldn't stick to the concrete or the the asphalt just because it was too warm and it was too wet but it got cold last night I have an outside water spigot here uh, that I wanted to blow out and I was getting a migraine last night when I got done with work so I decided to uh, just say screw it and I turned the water off um, this spigot right here basically is just some one inch PVC that I had left over from a job probably seven or eight nine years ago and I just stuffed it all together and ran it down the side of the building all the way down you can see uh, way past the telephone pole there's a tree and then the only outside water spigot is on the end of the building down there so I just uh, put a hose end on it and I got it so that I could have water right at my door but uh, this thing froze up last night a little bit enough that I couldn't blow it out it was about 28 last night 26 step inside here it's nasty out there but uh <clears throat> I need to get that blown out it's supposed to be in the f high 40s and 50 over the weekend and in the 40s and 50s next week so uh that's something I gotta tend to but uh we got the whole fleet in here got a couple of walk behinds and uh my uh aging fleet I should say my turf tiger here this is a 2000 yeah I think it's a 2000 model so it's a 13 year old machine uh, Kohler uh, 
CH25, which is a horizontal mount, or model, excuse me. Um, this thing has, we'll see if the camera will pick it up without me having to go all the way over there. It's 2,412, or 2,512 hours on it. Um, this thing used to get a lot of hours on it, but it's not mowing as much grass as it used to, so uh, she's still chugging along. We've got the uh, leaf vac system on it here, quick vac made by Turf Specialty Products. This thing's old. Um, it's the age of the machine. It was about a $2,500 catcher at the time that I got from a gentleman, a uh, friend of mine, who uh, needed some work done, and he bought it, and it, it, it didn't work for what he wanted to use it for. He wanted to use it for... Uh, mowing uh, like a uh, grazing pasture for uh, his horses he wanted to mow that down with it and collect it um, he was trying to I don't know what exactly he was trying to do but long story short is you can't be mowing 12 inch tall grass with it and expect it not to plug up so uh, I did a bunch of work for him and uh, bartered that off and I've been using it ever since but uh, he's getting a little noisy it's got a bearing a uh, not a pillow block, but it's a, uh, a flange bearing that's, you can see it sticking out right here, and there's three bolts, there's one of them, there's another one, and then there's one a little farther in. And those bearings from sucking up wet material are just, they're trashed. So I picked the seals out of them uh, last week, and I cleaned them the best I could, and I took a grease needle and pumped them full of grease, uh, just to buy me some time because they've discontinued this unit and I've got to come up with some sort of retrofit or find uh, the width of this bearing. I know the ID is a three-quarter shaft but uh, I'm limited on my width because that bearing is actually on the inside of this housing and the impeller will hit it. So I need to find something like that to make that new again. Um, it just It's so damn noisy it just <clears throat> the bearings are done. Bottom line. So I was working on that, and uh, you can see all the oil dry on the floor. I actually oil sprayed that truck inside because it was crappy the day I did it. Um, I took a blow gun on the end of the air hose and laid under the truck and uh, blew all the scaly old undercoating and crap off of it um, and some of the rust. And I also had this problem. I had to cut my spare tire down. It wouldn't come out. I just had it down in the spring and the damn thing wouldn't come out, but uh, there's the part that holds the tire up and there's the winch, and I think eBay, those are about 50 bucks. I looked them up, so I got to order a new one of those because I've been carrying a spare tire in the truck. So, uh, working on that kind of stuff and just general maintenance around the shop. Um, had to pull... Uh, I had a leaky oil seal in the wheel motor on this side of the machine right here. And you have to pull the tire off, pull the parking brake off, and pull the hub off. And uh, I had to pop the oil seal out. Basically, it's been walking the seals out, the steel part. Um, the round steel part, it actually walks out on the shaft. And uh, I just took some right stuff, Permatex, and uh, I cleaned it up real good and stuffed it back in there. Um, they're not leaking around the rubber part. It's actually pushing the seal out, which is It seems to be just a fault of this machine over time as they get older so did that and uh, Not a whole lot else going on you Need to get some leaves cleaned up. I blew out a bunch of sprinklers yesterday uh, Trying to get ahead of the curve here, but I still have about half a dozen people that haven't called to close their sprinklers yet and uh I usually try and call them, but this has been one of those years it was real wet, and I'm thinking a lot of those people didn't even use their uh, irrigation system, so we might not have to do it. But uh, we got the air compressor outside here, too. We were using that to blow out the old sprinklers yesterday. This thing's an old, old girl. It is a 60s machine, Jaeger Manufacturing. And I'm not sure I know exactly where they're out of, but... Uh, I'll give you guys a little peek at this thing. It is a relic. And this was uh, on my to-do list last year when I had the Duramax in. I was going to repaint this machine. But basically that's it. It's a rotary screw type compressor that's capable of, uh, I want to say this one's around 100 or 125 
uh, CFM, maybe 150. Um, it's got a white continental engine in it, uh, four cylinder flathead, so the valves are uh, in the block and not in the head, no overhead valve here. Um, you can see we got, I don't know if we got enough light, yeah. I've got the uh, distributor cap wired on because the tabs have broken off and I can't find a distributor for it. Um, I've retrofitted it and taken the points out of it and put a solid state ignition in it. It's got a Delco uh, GM alternator on it. Uh, so we're not screwing around with that stupid voltage regulator there. That's internally regulated. And uh, so we got all that hooked up. And uh, got a piece of shit battery in it here, but it runs. Uh, radiator weeps a little bit. I can see it's wet down there, but I gave 500 bucks for this, and I couldn't find one on the interweb for uh, anything less than about two grand. Uh, that was just beat to hell. And this one's beat too, but uh, for using it once a year, I really don't care. I'll uh, spiff it up and just continue to use it. Change oil in it, check it, and uh, just run it. So, there you go guys, there's a little something for you to peek at. I'll probably go up home and upload this among some other videos. I got some video from, uh, very little, but some video from New Orleans um, and things like that. So, hope you guys are all having a good one and uh, everybody uh, hold on man. The Google plus thing is uh, really putting the screws to the commenting and stuff like that and I haven't figured it out yet so I'm not going anywhere I just haven't been able to make any videos so don't get discouraged hang out keep watching if you if you want and uh, we'll catch you on the next one 